You know, at any given moment, there are about 10,000 planes in the air carrying over a million passengers around the world. I'm sure most of those people are up there to travel bigger distances in a shorter time because, well, that's what planes are for, right? So why would anyone take the world's shortest commercial flight with a mere 1.7 mile long route? Well, <laughs> here's the lowdown. First of all, this flight is operated by Logan Air, which is pretty much Scotland's main airline. Now imagine, you need to get from the island of Westray to the island of Papa Westray in the Orkney Archipelago. That's in the Northern Isles of Scotland. You ask the locals, how do you get from one island to the other the fastest? And they'll tell you, hey, just take a plane. Wait, what? But it's only 1.7 miles to your destination. Right, and your time on board will be just as shockingly short as 57 seconds. Well, that's the record time planes reach when the wind is favorable. If not, you might have to endure a whole two minutes if you include taxiing time. All right, the inconvenience of a one-minute prolonged flight because of weather aside, you're all for it. So now what? Get your wallet out and be ready to pay about 50 bucks for a round trip. When it's time to board, you'll approach a small plane out on the tarmac. It's a Britain Norman Islander, a light regional aircraft with eight seats. You climb into the plane and take a window seat. And that's when you realize that if the flight lasts for about a minute, they probably won't have time to serve lunch or even drinks for that matter. Uh-oh, that growling tummy of yours will have to wait. I guess you can't expect much for 50 bucks in a route that's no longer than a typical runway at the Edinburgh airport. By the way, traveling by a Britain Norman Islander is more or less green at least in comparison to other planes. See for yourself. When a Boeing 747 simply taxis before takeoff, it already burns 1.6 tons of fuel. If we talk about the whole route from Westray to Papa Westray, the plane uses a mere 22 pounds of fuel, yeah, for the entire trip, which comes to approximately 20 bucks. But back to your trip. Your plane makes a few turns on the tarmac to get to the runway, you feel the craft accelerate momentarily, and bam, you're already in the air. Admittedly, the plane doesn't go too high into the air as it flies over the water. And the next thing you know, you're landing! Congratulations, your trip is over. I hope you had a nice flight. You leave the aircraft happy and impressed, and here's a surprise for you. As one of those who made this trip for the first time in their life, you get a special certificate. It's got your name on it and says you've flown on the world's shortest scheduled flight between the islands of Westray and Papa Westray as authenticated by Guinness World Records. Yahoo! But even if there were no tourists eager to take the world's shortest flight, the route between the two islands would still be incredibly popular. Local teachers, doctors, bankers, and other islanders use this service on a regular basis. Amazingly, the Orkney Inner Isles Air Service has already transported more than 1 million passengers. Logan Air opened this route in 1967 and celebrated its 50th anniversary in 2017. The company treasures this route, saying it's a world-famous jewel of their network. It connects the Orkney mainland with all of its six outer islands – North Ronaldsay, Sanday, Stronsay, Ide, and of course the ones you already know by now – Westray and Papa Westray. Oh, by the way, the airline's flight attendants wear that iconic tartan – or Scottish plaid as you may call it. Some planes have this pattern on their tails, and you may sometimes notice some tartan elements of decor inside the cabin, like on the headrests. But Logan Air isn't the only airline that provides its passengers with an unusual experience. On the other end of the flight time spectrum, Singapore Airlines launched the longest non-stop flight in the world in October 2018. The ultra-long-range plane covers a mind-blowing 9,700 miles when it travels from Singapore Shangji Airport to New York. Interestingly enough, there's no economy class on this flight, and instead of 253 passengers, only 94 premium economy and 67 business class passengers board the plane. The trip takes about 19 hours, depending on weather conditions. And if you ever get a chance, be sure to check out South African-based budget-friendly Kalula Airlines. This company has become famous thanks to its plane's bright green and often hilarious paint jobs. 
For example, their Flying 101 jet is covered with descriptions of the aircraft's different parts and funny phrases along the lines of, this way up. As for the cabin crew members, they greet passengers with witty remarks and jokes. On top of that, if you travel with this airline, be ready for such instructions as please remain in your seats with your seatbelt fastened while the captain is taxiing what's left of our plane to the gate. And despite such a humorous, light-hearted attitude to air travel, the airline has an impressive safety record. Now, are you a fan of Hello Kitty? Then you'll love the Taiwanese airline Ava Air that's taken the fandom to an absolutely different level. Several of this company's aircraft are decorated in Hello Kitty style, with every single detail reminding you of this adorable cartoon cat. First of all, Hello Kitty characters are painted all over the plane's exterior, but you'll also find them inside on headrest covers, menus, utensils, and even the toilet paper. The newest addition to the airline's fleet is the Hello Kitty Shining Star Boeing 777 that travels to Taipei, Singapore, and Houston. And even though a ticket is pretty expensive, such a bright flight could be worth the experience. If you've chosen Air Malta to fly from London Gatewick Airport to Malta, then it'd be your lucky day. The thing is that the company decided to improve the onboard experience for economy passengers, and they certainly delivered. The airline launched an in-flight spa service free of charge. Two professional masseuses offer passengers neck, feet, scalp, and hand massages during the flight. You can also get a manicure and hand treatment and try some beauty product samples if you like. On top of that, a soothing soundtrack lulls people to sleep during the three-hour flight. Now, if you're looking for a bit of extreme in your life, you can try blind booking, also called mystery flights, by German low-cost airline Eurowings. You start by picking your departure point, then choose a destination category. No, not point or city, but a grouping of different ones. For example, there's shopping, sun and beach, metropolis, party, or trekking and hiking. As soon as you complete your booking and pay for the ticket, the airline's website will inform you where you're heading. Now, that's exciting! But if you're like me, all you want is comfort, but you don't want to pay first-class prices for it. Well, Air New Zealand has got your back. No, for real, they've introduced their Economy Sky Couch, also known as Cuddle Class, to help passengers avoid that debilitating leg and back pain that comes with flying. The trick is that a seat's leg rest can be folded up horizontally. This way, when a passenger does it in a triple seat row, the three seats turn into a flat, pretty comfortable bed for two. This feature is extremely popular among couples and parents because, well, you're probably not going to snuggle up with a stranger, right? Still, even when you're lazing on a sky bed, you have to wear a special loop belt that connects with your regular seat belt. In 2011, KLM Royal Dutch Airlines decided to help its passengers network during flights. The airline partnered with Facebook, and together they created an opportunity for people to see the LinkedIn and Facebook profiles of other passengers to choose their flight neighbor. But if you don't want strangers to see your social media profiles, you can always opt out of having your accounts connected with your booking. Yeah, I'll pass. That's just creepy. So, which of these flights would you like to try? Let me know down in the comments. If you learned something new today, then give this video a like and share it with a friend. But don't go anywhere just yet. We have over 2,000 cool videos for you to check out. All you have to do is pick the left or right video, click on it, and enjoy. Stay on the Bright Side of Life!